Hi my lovely friends, welcome back to my channel, or if this is your first time here, hi, my name is Melissa, or Missa. Welcome to the coolest place on the internet, as voted by my cats. Today, as you can see by the title, I'm playing with the, what I have been highly anticipating, the Lois Cosmetics Meet Me in the Underworld palette, which I actually just texted someone about and said meet me in the underwear palette, and I thought that was quite funny. This is the palette, it's an indie brand, Lois Cosmetics is an indie brand, and it's a very small company run by one incredible person and she has created this stunning palette which sells out immediately as soon as it's launched it sells out and she very kindly sent me this to play with because I really struggled to get my hands on it and uh, I now have it. We are going to as always swatch the whole palette, I'm going to do this eye look with it and then I'm going to give you my thoughts at the end of the video and um, that's about it. Let me find out how much it is and when it's restocking, that might help. Yeah, so it's 28 99 which is a pretty good price. I would say it's not too expensive considering it is an indie brand and you get so many shadows. I actually think that's a really decent price. And it's gonna be restocking soon. I actually, I don't know the exact date, but yeah, if you want it, literally set your alarm because it sells out in like minutes, which is like nuts, but I'm so happy for Lois. We're gonna jump in, swatch it all, and then do this look, give you my thoughts, yada yada yada, you know the script, so if you want to see me play with it and swatch it and all that fun stuff, then uh, just keep watching. Two quick points though before we jump in, A, I've tested this new product today, the Sensorium Brow Engineer, which is why I've got like bleached brows, and I just wanted to try it and have fun with it, so if you're noticing something weird, and secondly, I also used this palette for blush, bronze and highlight, which is, it's not meant for, so yeah, more of that coming when I try it on, but let's jump into it now. Here is the beautiful Meet Me in the Underwear palette. Haha, uh -huh. Meet Me in the Underworld. This is what it looks like, so it's obviously kind of like raspberry and green. I was about to say something very naughty there. A hint to a palette that's coming out, but I won't say that. That would be bad. Uh, this is what it looks like, it's very pretty. Isn't it? Mine's a wee bit messed up already, obviously, because I've used it and it's me. I've got messy palettes. Ignore my hand. I cut it open climbing on the roof to rescue the cat. Anyway, this is the palette. We're going to swatch it row by row. I'm not going to put any primer on my arm or anything. I might just do four at a time because I feel like my lighting's like real dark back here, but nice and bright here. So I might just do like four and then show you. Anyway, let's swatch it and uh, see how it swatches. Let's jump into it. There we are then, I've swatched the whole thing, that didn't take long. I like these smaller palettes for doing the swatches because it doesn't take long, it's only taking me eight minutes. That black eyeshadow, oh my goodness. Is that on par with ABH Noir? I'm a poet, potentially, potentially. That swatch was insane and also it went on the eyes really well. Spoiler, um, I like how it swatched, I think. I expected maybe some of the bits to swatch a bit better, but now that I've used them on my eyes, it doesn't matter because I know how they go on. So, um, yeah, let's now jump into me popping it on my peepers and seeing what happens. I know what happens, but you don't. Anyway, let's jump into it. Okay, here we are, voiceover time. Prime my eyes with my Revlon Candid. As always, it's really not going to be a shock, is it? 
And uh, I'm starting off with the shade Underworld because if a palette is going to give me a black eyeshadow, I'm going to test the black eyeshadow and I'm going to let you know what I think. And what I think is it's absolutely amazing. It's a really good black eyeshadow. I would say totally in league with ABH Noir, which is not something I say easily, but I think it's kind of true. So I'm just packing this round my eye and then I'm going to just diffuse it a little bit with a fluffier brush and then I'm going in with Hades which is like a dark browny purple and I'm just going to use that to blend it out so just like I said copying a teal look basically and uh, I feel like this is what she did I don't know if she filmed it or not uh, but again go check out her page please she's amazing uh, so just diffusing that round and you can see like I'm not actually sorry I'm just going to a snake bite now I'm not actually trying to blend these together really, I'm more just placing my colours on, but they are blending themselves, so yeah, that kind of says something, doesn't it? I love this snake bite shade, it's probably like one of the most standout shades to me in the palette, it's very kind of like modern renaissance-y in a way, right? Kind of, right? Kind of? Um, just blowing that out a bit and then I'm going to go in with footsteps and just blend that out more and I totally work on this later on in my look. The the blown outness. Uh, so I'm not working on it too much right now. And then um, once I've blended this round, I'm going to go in with a green and it's Nymph. Nice name. And pack this one at the front. The greens to me, they're not, there's not a huge amount of difference in the tone between the two matte greens. Uh, so it was kind of either or for me. And I'm just going to pack that all over and then use just that same shade to blend it out with because there isn't really a paler green to use. That's one of my gripes, I guess. What's wrong, sausage? And then I'm using Eurydice and I'm wetting it and that's going to be my under the brow highlight, which actually I use this as my face highlight later on. Um, real multi-use purpose palette. Multi-purpose use. You know what I mean. I'm just going to copy onto the lower lashes the same shades that I've used up above, as above, down below, you know? Um, you know me, when it gets to the lower lash line I usually get kind of bored and I don't really know what to do, so I just decided to keep it very simple. Um, and that is the eye look. So now I'm going to go off and blend them all and spend a bit of time on trying to make it look a bit better. But once again, these shadows, they just blend like butter, like a buttery dream and uh, you don't really need to put much work into it. Again, like once my base is on I use the two like lightest pinky purple shades and use those as blush but... Um, oh, now I'm going to use my Ultima Eye Base and my Sheen Liner in Ice Cream just to pop on my cut crease. Again, copying to you. Um, and now we're going in with Enchanted. I couldn't not use this shade, it's just so stunning and I'm just gonna pack that all over like the front I don't know three quarters of my eye Um, it's beautiful and that's actually using it dry I can imagine using it wet would be even more stunning but I just used it dry for some reason and uh, then I went in with forest which again it's not my favorite shade in the palette it's a bit boring but just darker green but it's it's good for blending out this nice lighter green shade um, into that, into the dark mattes. And then I had to use Orpheus on the inner corner. Ooh, wet it. Bam! It's like liquid gold. It's a really pretty shade. It's, it's absolutely gorgeous. And I'm just gonna pop that on inner corner in the front of my eyeball. And then just uh, smoothing out that outer corner, making it a bit neater and then a bit of black liner just as a bit of a wing but I go over it with the black eyeshadow from the palette because I just wanted it to be a bit more diffused and a bit more, I don't know, I just think it looks better when it's a bit more diffused and not so stark. On my eyes it does anyway, kind of thin to thick. I feel like it suits me and then I'm just using a couple different eyeliners, a green and a pink just to match the, the you know, the look. I, I'll list them down below, can't remember what they are right now, Ellie Girl and NYX anyway. And that is the eye look. So I'm going to go off, do all my base, do all that jazz 
and uh, I'll come back and tell you my final thoughts but overall amazing quality you can probably see Okay, so my makeup is all done. My lipstick, I always get asked about my lipstick, but today is Maybelline 710 Sultry Sand. A nice cheapy goodie. Um, thoughts on this palette? I love it, I love it a lot. Um, I think I'm gonna gripe. I'm gonna have a, a couple gripes, maybe just one gripe. I don't know. Um, I would quite like to see a paler, yeah, okay, two gripes. A paler green for blending out the two matte greens and a paler pink, like something quite a lot paler than this to blend out. Apart from that, I think it's, it's pretty perfect. I uh, haven't actually swatched it yet, so I'm not sure how the swatches turn out, but I'm sure they'll be fine, and if not, I know how it applies on the eyes. Um, also, the fact that I can use Myth as a bronzer, and it's stunning, and um, Footsteps as a blush, and Eurydice as a highlight, like, what? That's excellent. I could literally take this away and do an eye look and do my blush bronze and highlight and not need anything else, do you know what I mean? I know that's not the intention of the palette, but the fact that you can use those shades for other things, I always think it's fun and I like to use a palette as much as I can on my face, not just the eyes. It's probably a 9.5 out of 10 in my books. I'm not going to start rating things, I don't know why I've started it and I'm not going to keep doing it, but 9.5 out of 10. I really like it, I love the packaging, I like how compact it is, I like the colour. I like the theme, I'm very into this, this kind of thing. So yeah, if this kind of colour story really appeals to you, the quality of this is fantastic. They blend like butter, they feel great, it looks great, it's going to look great on my shelf. I would recommend this palette, it's really nice and also you're supporting like a one woman brand. You're literally putting food on her table, you know, whereas these big companies that we all buy from. It feels a bit more faceless, whereas it's a bit nicer and more personal when it's an indie brand. I'm just kind of getting into indie brands recently and uh, the fact that they can compete so well with huge brands just baffles me. Anyway, excellent palette. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you all enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. It really does help me out. Out. Help me up and out. Leave me a comment down below. Tell me what you want to see on my channel next. Um, when I do these crazy looks, I always wonder if I should follow up with a video on the same palette doing a more wearable look. Let me know if that's something you're interested in. And uh, subscribe if you haven't already. I put out three to four videos a week. And I'm gonna piss off and go and cuddle potato and sausage, but mostly potato after he went missing and came home. So yeah, thank you all for watching and I hope I'll catch you on the flip side. Bye.